People are always saying, Dr. Wesselcouch, how come you never do any Putnam problems? Well, today we're gonna to do a Putnam problem. Putnam 2000 A2. Prove that there exist infinitely many integers n, such that n, n plus one, and n plus two are each the sum of squares. And for example, they give us that zero is equal to zero squared plus zero squared, one is equal to one squared plus zero squared, and two is equal to one squared plus one squared. So of course, try it on your own first, and let me know in the comments if you're able to solve it, uh, or you can just watch me solve it. So one thing to note is that if we have a perfect square, let's call it k squared. Well, k squared is equal to k squared plus zero squared. And k squared plus one is equal to k squared plus one squared. Okay, and so that's two of them. And so what we wanna do is find when is k squared minus one the sum of two squares, okay? And if that's the case, then we'll say n plus one is equal to k, n plus two is equal to k squared plus one, and then n would be k squared minus one. Okay, so that would be our, that'd be our solution. We'll show that there's infinitely many solutions that do that. So when is k squared minus one the sum of two squares? Well, k squared minus one, we could rewrite as k squared minus two k plus one plus two k minus two. Okay, why are we doing that? Well, this is a perfect square, right? This is equal to k minus one squared plus two k minus one. Okay, and so this is already a perfect square. Now we wanna figure out when is it that two times k minus one is a perfect square. And hopefully there's infinitely many times when that can happen. Well, if this is a perfect square, this is an even number. So if it's a perfect square, it's an even perfect square. So it's an even number squared. So two k minus one is going to be equal to some even number, let's call it two L squared, which is equal to four L squared. Okay, and now let's just solve for um, K in terms of L and then we could write out what the numbers are gonna be. Okay, so this is gonna give us that K is equal to two L squared plus one. Okay, so whenever k is equal to two l squared plus one, I claim that k squared minus one, k squared and k squared plus one could all be written as the sum of perfect squares. So let's just verify that. Okay, and just to make it easier for us, this tells us that k minus one uh, is equal to two l squared. Okay, so k squared minus one is equal to k minus one squared. So that's two L squared squared. Plus two k minus one, which is two L squared. Okay, so that's the sum of two squares k squared, well, that's just k squared plus zero, zero squared, but let's write it in terms of L. Two L squared plus one squared plus zero squared, and k squared plus one is equal to two L squared plus one squared plus one squared. Okay, and there's no restrictions on L other than L has to be zero or greater. So for each L, this gives us three consecutive integers that are each the sum of perfect squares. And since there's infinitely many values that L could take on, there are infinitely many uh, triplets n, n plus one, and n plus two that are each the sum of squares. So I know it's a Putnam problem, but it wasn't too bad. All right, thanks for watching.